All right, kids, gather around and listen up, because I'm dropping knowledge about a secret temple hidden right here in America's backyard. Welcome to Absurd Reality Case File 008, the Isis Temple. In a restricted area of the Grand Canyon, there are pyramids and caves full of hieroglyphics and Egyptian relics that sit inside a humongous rock structure known as the Isis Temple. Most people don't even know about the temple since the information has been suppressed by the federal government for over a century. The sky over the temple's location is restricted airspace. The area surrounding this pyramid and cave on the ground is private government property and illegal to trespass on. The terrain is extremely treacherous to navigate and all reports about this temple from the Smithsonian and elsewhere have been censored, modified, nullified, or retracted. That being said, the Isis Temple isn't a secret. It's located below the North Rim and adjacent to Granite Gorge, and archaeologists estimate the man-made cavern is around 3,000 years old. Despite the crazy and dangerous location, it doesn't stop people from attempting to visit this part of the canyon. Many have been arrested, and some have died attempting to climb to the sacred sites over the years. It's said that the government has armed guards protecting the entrance, now known as Kincaid's Cave. Now here's the thing, do they really have armed guards? If this area is such a pain in the ass to get to, how the hell are these guys coming in and out? If this is an archeological site, would they risk disturbing it by building bathroom facilities, eating areas, and possible housing quarters for just a few guards? Maybe there's more to the area than we realize. Maybe there's a secret underground base there, or maybe they went in, documented everything, and took out all the important shit, and it now sits empty. There isn't too much dedicated information about what was found inside. I was, however, able to find this. In March and April of 1909, the Phoenix Gazette published two stories about the discovery of a great underground citadel hidden in a cave in the Grand Canyon. The first article in March only mentions explorer G. E. Kincaid and his explorations down the Colorado River. The paper also notes that he made some interesting archaeological discoveries, but no details were listed. The second story reports in more depth on Kincaid's trip down the Colorado River, where he discovered an ancient, hidden city in hand-carved, not natural, caves. The Southwest is home to many Pueblo ruins and cities belonging to many different tribes of Pueblo people, but Kincaid described this area as having an Oriental or Egyptian feel to it. The hand-carved tunnels, caves, and city were said to contain weapons, a shrine with a figure sitting cross-legged holding a lotus flower in each hand, hieroglyphic writings, and mummies. Kincaid estimated that 50,000 people had once lived in the tunnels and caves of this temple. The article goes on to say that the Smithsonian was involved in the study and investigation of the site. I should mention that the Smithsonian denies having to do with anything regarding the Isis temple. But wait. How the fuck are there Egyptian relics in this temple, which is in the middle of nowhere when Egypt is nearly 7,500 miles away? Number one, who brought them there? Number two, who built it? It's not like you could easily transport those items from Egypt to the Grand Canyon. FedEx wasn't around 3,000 years ago. And that's the thing, nobody knows. Well, I'm sure somebody knows, but they aren't letting that information out to the public. We're just going to have to leave those answers up to our imagination. Thanks for listening, guys. Do me a favor and destroy that like button, share this video, and subscribe to this channel for everything Absurd Reality by clicking the subscribe button on the bottom right corner of the screen. That's it for this case file. We are out.